Welcome to the Worldwide Center of Math ACT Prep Series. Here I'm going to be solving a problem from a 2009 ACT Prep book. Remember that you can pause the video at any time to solve the problem before I do. So our problem here states, an integer from 100 to 999 inclusive, which means that 100 and 999 are both included in the list, is to be chosen at random. What is the probability that the number that the number chosen will have a zero as at least one digit. So in order to solve this, let's start by making a list. So we know that 100 obviously includes a zero, as does 101, 102, 103, 104, 105, 106, 107, 108, and 109. So all 10 of these numbers obviously include a zero, and they will for each of 100, 200, 300, all the way to 900. And what other, what other numbers are going to have a zero as one of the digits? We've got 110, 120, 130, all the way through 190. And then the list would begin again with 200. And so in order to make this a lot quicker, we definitely don't want to be making a list of all of these numbers and adding them up during the ACT test. We are going to simply multiply. So we've got 10 numbers here that have a zero as a digit and nine numbers here. And we know that this set will repeat for each of 100, 200, 300, all the way through 900. So we've got 19 digits in total times nine for each of the sets of 100 is equal to 171. And so we know that we have 171 possible choices out of our 900 choices because 999 minus 100 is technically 899, but because it's inclusive, we add one more. And so our answer choice is D, 171 over 900. Thank you for watching. Make sure you click here to watch more ACT playlist videos, click here to subscribe to our channel, and click here to visit centerofmath.org for more math resources.